can be red yes once again officially very good evening to everyone thanks a lot for joining this particular training program and we will launch our session one on the excel training hands-on excel training with the help of the cases and the projects well i have already shared with you all an excel file which says the exercise one workbook and i can see that people have responded that you guys are ready with the excel and let me share my screen and then let me also get ready with the excel and you can see here sheet one has got some activities in the sheet one if you see here just try to first understand what is given in the excel now those were not present yesterday for the trailer you don't have to worry about anything i have not done anything which is a rocket science i've just had a kind of quick interaction with the people and then i started working on the excel that's it so people who are for the first time now do not worry about it what has happened in the last session we will start fresh right now okay the very first important ground rule when we are working with the excel is that we need to understand one excel file is nothing but workbook and that is the reason if you see here exercise one underscore workbook iphone excel the name of the file is here i call this as a workbook why because one workbook can have multiple sheets within the workbook and that is the reason you can see different sheets in the file which i have shared with you guys consist of sheet one we look up exercise one, conferences table, we look up exercise two, and H lookup. There are different sheets in one workbook. Now, when we open any Excel file, the very first thing what we have to do is we need to understand the data first. Do not jump into getting the answer. Maybe now you will be impressing yourself, or you will be impressing your friends, or you will be impressing the batch. But when it comes to your task, when it comes to interview, when it comes to the corporate world, when it comes to you making an analysis, you will have to be careful. And at that time, you will start getting worried about. For that reason, have a patience. The very first step is that when you open the file, read the data, understand the data. What kind of data that does Excel file has? Now you can see in the sheet one. Now, I think when you open the file, it was in the VLOOKUP exercise one. So instead of using a mouse or a touchpad to switch between the one sheet to another sheet, we know that I'll be using control and then page up for backward, control page down for the forward. At the same time, yesterday we looked into with some two to three students where their keyboard asked them to have FN button also, function button. So you please practice yourself using a shortcut, moving from or shifting from one Excel sheet to another Excel sheet. So I want everybody to be in sheet one. You be in your sheet one and then just listen to me and then we will start working together. In the sheet one, I have in the column A ID in the column B, there is something called as a product name. In the column C, there is something called as unit price. Column D says in stock. Column E says on order. Column F says reorder level, reorder level. So this is what the data we have in the given file. So now we will be working on some task. Now, what is the task? The task is all about, it says, find out. Something is given here, find out. Now, please do not use the mouse or a touchpad. Use left arrow key and the right arrow key to move from, to move towards right, right arrow key, to move towards left, use left arrow key. This is what now you will be practicing. It's a, it's a hands-on experience. Come on, you will have to do this activity. Do this. Just get used for this. Use your favorite finger and then make sure that you're clicking on the right, you're clicking on the left, you're clicking on the down, and then you're clicking on the up. Try to do this basics quickly. It's a kind of warm-up exercise. Move up, move down, move towards left, and move towards right using the four keys, which are called as the arrow keys. Now, 
using the key right uh, towards the right arrow now you can see here find out when i say count there is a 67 can you delete that please delete that 67 yeah, delete that 67 at the same time in the column i you can see that 29 i want you to delete that column uh, what is that i 29 you please remove that or delete that 29 at the same time 1406.53 just press the button delete i believe you all have done this now how many tasks we have you can see here do not use the touchpad do not use the mouse Nantumba fast agala. I'll make sure that you will be with me, but you should be very much careful when I say just follow the instructions. So scroll down using a down arrow key. And then now let's see how many tasks we have. We have 22. We have 22 tasks in sheet one. Okay. So you are using the right arrow key, left arrow key, down arrow key, and the up arrow key. Now let's say I do control home. It goes to the a1, the very first cell, control home. That is the shortcut for moving to the first cell. Maybe if you want, you can make a note somewhere. Now, I'll move towards right using a right arrow key. And then I'll see here, find out there is a big list. But instead of pressing the down arrow key again and again, see here, again and again. Now I have come to the 22nd task, but I cannot see the first one. And I'll do, if I do the control home, it goes to the A1. Instead of that, what I'll do now, you see here in the screen, please have a look over the screen now, not your Excel, my Excel, please. You just see now what happens. I'm in the task 22 format cells. And now it's in the first. I did not do control home. What is it I did? Any guess? Anybody is aware of it? Control up arrow, sir. Yes, very good. Control up arrow. If you know something, please share it to the badge. Let you also share the knowledge. There is no harm in keeping quiet. Very good. I really appreciate it. Now we are in the first task that is the count. If I want to see the what is the last cell, the same thing, whatever he said, I'll be doing using a control button. Control long press and then I'll say down arrow key and it straight away goes to the last cell. Now good that I got a response, a quick response here. Control up arrow key which goes to the top. Control down arrow key which goes to the bottom. Now I would like to select the complete column. Whatever the data I have here from task 1 to task 22. What is it I should do? See here in the screen. Something happens. I have just selected the data, whatever I wanted, without using a mouse, without using a touchpad. How is it I did this? Control shift. Control, control shift. Control shift down arrow. Yes. Control shift will be a long press, and then you'll be pressing on the down arrow key, and you can see the selection has happened. If you do control C, let's do this now. Let's do the control C. You can see now that it is copied. I want to take this task to a new workbook. When I say new workbook, how do I get the new workbook? Quickly. Control N. Control N. Very good. I really appreciate Control N. And then do Control V. And you will be pasting it here. Now, this file is a new workbook file. I want to save this. Or I want to not to save this. But right now, I don't want this file. How do I close this without using a touchpad and a mouse? Control I don't y. want this. Yeah. Control? Y. Control Y is a redo. Control F4, sir. Control, you can see here, I do Control W. And it will be asking me, save your changes to this file. And then I'll use my right arrow key and the tab. If, if you see here, I'm using a tab. I'll use a tab and then I'll say, don't save. And then I close it. Alt F4 is also used in some keyboard. Control W. Control W is also used to close that particular workbook. So these are some of the basic shortcuts which everybody will be using on our day-to-day -day life. Now, I'll do a control home. When I say that, you also please do it now. You be on your Excel. Do control home. 
and now after copying the column g and then after going to control home still i can see that the copied area is saying you can see here it is highlighted the copied area now press escape e s c the right uh, left corner button the top button escape now remember one thing when you are writing a formula when you are doing something in the excel if you feel difficulty if you face some something like say excel is not behaving properly remember that you will be pressing the button escape e s c escape meaning that abort the process a b o r t abort the process for that reason we do use escape button now i did a control home and i am in the column a row number 1 but here i want to know how many ids i have how many products i have in this particular data set column a to column f is called as data set now how many products do we have in this given data set is what the first question how many products we have now you have different ways of checking into like now if you say you will be using a down arrow key it takes time it goes on goes on goes on and it goes on it goes on right now i'll do control home from the first cell if i do control down arrow key it goes to the 77 and by seeing this you cannot tell you have 77 products in the data set you cannot say that we have 77 products in the data set now everybody come on i want you guys to be here in the column b dead end column b dead end you can see some average you can see some and average right yeah yes, i want yeah i want to delete that entire row i want to delete that entire row please do not press the button delete let me train you something using a shortcut now please go to the cell sum s u m using a up arrow key now understand my requirement i don't want that entire row so how do i do that now the i selected the entire row without touching a touchpad how is it i did any guess control any guess from alt. anyone Con control alt uh, shift control right control shift control, control shift right. right okay right key. control shift right key okay there is one simplest way shift space bar shift long press and then press space bar space bar meaning you have a space bar right a very big button press that selected the entire row right is it yes, working sir. with you guys yes sir, yes, sir. okay yes, sir. okay yes, now let's yes now let's delete this how do i delete without using a mouse use control and then say minus it got deleted did it yes sir yes sir yes do it do it again control minus because i don't want that do it for three times so that entire data now got deleted below the data set so what was the shortcut we used for uh, selecting the entire row shift space bar shift bar shift and a space bar a very simple one so shift and a space bar and control minus it deletes the entire row it delete the entire row now if you see here i want to select the entire column what is it i am doing to select the entire column any guess shift up okay and yeah, another yeah control and a space bar Yes, if you say control and a space bar yes it is getting selected do not delete anything as of now please <laughs> let the data set be ready for us now so we have cleaned our excel file using some shortcuts and that is the reason i have given some data over there to work on this now let's do the control home let's move towards right it says find out now what is the first task the first task says please let me know the total count of product which are available in the given data set now when i say get the total count of product i am not asking you to manually count i am asking you to count 
the total number of products using a function using a formula in simple words i want you all to be in a column i i want you all to be in column i okay now just opposite to the count we have to get the count of the total number of products can anyone tell me what is that i can do using a function no problem any function any formula in excel should start with equal to without equal to we will not begin with equal to come on let us work together c o u n t count the moment when you write count now start understanding the language of the excel here excel is talking to you now excel is saying the moment you typed count it is saying you counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers equal to count open the bracket shift 9 hold up button shift and then press 9 you can see the parenthesis or you can see the bracket now this is very important for this one i'll tell you one thing tom dick and harry will complete the task but tom is always super fast tom is super fast dick is almost somehow sometimes he is fast sometimes he is not fast and harry is very slow why because harry is using the mouse and the touchpad and tom is using shortcut remember this now tom dick and harry now after writing equal to count f open the bracket and you just see here it is saying i need to select the entire column entire range entire range so that it will tell us how many products we have in the given data set i'll not be using left arrow key i'll not be using mouse i'll say control home and then i'll use my right arrow key i can use any of the column here i can use column a i can use column c i can use column d e and f but i cannot use the column b why because why is it that i can characters it's not a number yes, for the character yes yes it is not a number and excel already told us the range of numbers so i can use either a c d e f column now i'll go to the column a i'll select using a down arrow key the first cell and you see here in the screen shift control down arrow key so i selected the entire range in no time automatically it captured the range and you can see in the formula bar it says is equal to count and within the brackets you see that a2 to a68 i'm not using the mouse i'm not using the touchpad and still the game is not over now i'll have to close the bracket right shift and again zero now so it closed if i hit enter i should get the answer over there the answer is 67 tell me yes how many of you got this i got it sir perfect using a touchpad and the mouse only keyboard sir very good i love that you should use the keyboard let me check any messages in the chat box no message okay now people who are present and who are doing with me any quick question here on getting the total number of count for the given data set i'll repeat in kannada yaragadru kashta anta anusudre mouse matte touch pad use maadadenene nan helta iruvaga nimge enadru miss agidre heli nan mattond sala maartini iga so one second yes i i really appreciate that nanu eshtu sala niu kelidru parvagilla but kaliri aste i'll delete this now i'll say is equal to c o u n t and i need to open the bracket so what i'll do now shift 9 so the bracket got opened nand the data set to left side alli ide all hogibuttu ond column na select maadbeku so touch pad mouse bekagilla control home maadana ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಹೋಗಲ್ಲ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಬಾರಲಿ ಸೊ ಏನು ತ
ಈಗ ಡೌನ್ ಆರೋ ಕೀ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಒನ್ಗೆ ಬಂದೆ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಐ ಡಿ ಇಂದಾನೆ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಐ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ನಂಬರ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಬಂದೆ ಹೌ ಬೈ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಡೌನ್ ಆರೋ ಕೀ ನಾವ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸೇ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಇದೆ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ನಾವ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸೇ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಡೌನ್ ಆರೋ ಕೀ ಅಷ್ಟನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾನು ಕೈ ತೆಗಿತೀನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಲಿ ದಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ರೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಟು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಎಂಟರ್ ಸೊ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೌಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಟಚ್ ಪ್ಯಾಡ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ನಾವು ದೋಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಬಂತ ಇದೀಗ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ we have so many people so what's going on with them anybody has any doubt at this point of time ranjita you are getting what is that i'm doing here yes sir okay you have to take the responsibility of stopping me by got it raghavendra thank you very much here yeah. by now you already got to know that without the response it is very difficult for me to proceed out why because we are working together right good i could see the text i could see the uh, response by unmuting good so like this we will be using the shortcuts and then we will complete the task by task now i have a question task 2 is all about count if there is a count if task but there is a condition count if the unit price higher than 20 now let me go to the by pressing the control home let me go to the data set and you can see here id is the first column b is the product name c is the unit price so the second question is related to second task is related to unit price higher than 20 unit price higher than 20 now we don't know how many products are greater than or higher than 20 now i'll train you one more powerful shortcut do control home all together control home now you see the screen what is happening here in my screen and then i will be helping you how to get it done something happened in the screen what happened i i did a control z focus on very carefully now look at the screen which is shared something happens you tell me what happens the drain filters yes very good now i'll be coloring here something i want everybody to see this one now the colored one please see the colored one which is highlighted in yellow something happens over there that is filter got applied how is that you generally apply the filter you you click on the home and then you go on to the sort filter and then you will say uh, filter by this you will be doing this so it requires some time now those who are smart and those who want to be smart let me help for them it is very easy just listen to me and then do this alt should be a long press d f f alt d f f automatically it throws a shortcut based shortcut based filter how many of you got this alt i got alt, it sir f f good good very good anybody who has not got alt d f f alt d f f let me check the chat box here if i have any question yeah people are saying got it got it that's great people are responding here that they got it anybody who didn't get it it is your responsibility amale one the point helthin ayyo nan enadru gottagilla anta helidre bearer yen ankoltare anadadre ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರಿಗೋಸ್ಕರ ನೀವು ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಈ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ಗೆ ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರಿಗೋಸ್ಕರ ನೀವು ತಗೊಳ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ನ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ನಡೀತಾ ಇರೋದು ನೇರವಾಗಿ ನನ್ನ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರು ಯಾರೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಸರ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಇದಾರಲ್ಲ ಇರಲಿ ಬಿಡ್ರಿ ಏನು ತೊಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡೌಟ್ ಬಂದರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ ಆದರೆ ನೀವು ತಿಳ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತಿದ್ರೆ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಯಾರಿಗಾದ್ರೂ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ನವ್ಯಾಗ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ರಶ್ಮಿಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಅಥವಾ ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಅನಂತಿಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಇದು ಬೇಡ 
ಬಟ್ ಈ ಕ್ವೈರೀಸ್ ನ ತಗೊಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಡ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ನಾವ್ ವಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಅ ಫಿಲ್ಟರ್ ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಲಿ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ ಅದೇ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ನಾವು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ನಾವ್ ಇಗೇನ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಲ್ಟ್ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ಎಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ now let us all apply the filter because i'll be training you something which is very important on a daily basis you will be doing that alt d f f apply the filter please after applying the filter now let us go to the unit price how will you go to the unit price right arrow key please use right arrow key and then be on unit price generally what happens is you will be tempted to use mouse or a touch pad to open the filter ali drop down idella adanna use madlikke i'm showing here this one this is the one idanna click madlikke you will be tempted to use mouse or you will be tempted to use touch pad now you will not be using touch pad or a mouse you see here it opened how any guess from anyone no problem so you are in the unit price cell there should be a long press so what i'll do for the long press i'll be using my left thumb on alt a l t alt long press and down arrow key you can see the small window opens up is it working yes sir yes sir model yes sir yes it's not working working sir it's working, working right sir. yeah it's working yeah one more time yes yes thank you one more time now i'll be pressing a long press on i'll be having a long press on the alt button and then i'll say down arrow key a small window opened again you will be tempted to use mouse or a touch pad do not use a down arrow key just a down arrow key you can see use a down arrow key just come to select all using a down arrow key please come to select all and now i want to deselect everything to deselect everything you will just press space bar you will just press space bar and now let's say we will select the product price which is 9 using a down arrow key just go to the 9 dollar and we want to select this so how do i select this without touch pad and a mouse space bar yeah very good press space bar and then now you enter click on enter and you will see only that data which you filtered so this is one of the most powerful one trust me even now till today sitting at the office in the gmit yeah i will be doing this this particular filter every now and then because when we have the data in the excel it is likely to apply the filter and you will start experiencing it once you start working on the excel now let us release this filter to release the filter what is that i should do control set sir release the filter uh i would recommend you to alt d f f because you removed completely the application of the filter you removed it that's a good thing that's a good thing now if i do not remember or if i don't know the formula of count if the formula is saying count if if the unit prices are higher than 20 we don't know how many products are there which are higher than 20 but now without applying the count if if i want to check out this how is it i'll do all the ff the application of the filter happened now i'll be using a right arrow key i'll just go to the unit price and then i press a long long press on the key alt and then the down arrow key you can see here there is something called as number filters so i'll just select that by pressing the space bar then i'll say greater than or equal to using a down arrow key i'll again press the space bar and then i press 20 i'll be typing in 20 here and then i'll use a enter button so i got some filtered data now how do i see the filtered data completely if i just use a down arrow key it throws like this but to know quickly what i'll do i'll just click on the down arrow key 97 the first cell control shift down arrow key 
I just selected the range. When you select the range, you can see in the status bar in the Excel, it says count as 30. How many of you were able to do along with me? So say yes. Again. Yeah. We will do it once again. I'll just go to the control home. I'll release the filter. Let us apply the filter. Alt D F F. Alt D F F. Use the right arrow key. Go to the unit price. Let us open this filter by pressing a long press on the Alt and the down arrow key. A window opens. Now use a down arrow key. Just press the down arrow key and reach number filters. Go to the number filters. And you can see over there towards right side, there is an arrow mark. You can click on the space bar or you can click the right arrow key. Another window opens. And we know what is our requirement is. Our requirement is greater than. Use a down arrow key again and select greater than or equal to. Press enter. A window opens. Now right here 20. And simply say enter. And you will see the filtered data. And before you apply anything, you just see here in the shared screen, it says 30 of 67 records found. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Which means that after the filter, the 30 responses or the 30 products have appeared to be more than 20. 20 or more than 20. So this is how you will be doing using the filter. But how many how many times we do this? This is tedious. Andre Tumba time tawaluta. We don't want this. We want something a uh, function based. Release the filter now. Alt D F F. I just showed one of the way where people generally do that. I've seen people who do that kind of job. Uh, and that is called as a donkey's job. Now let's do something called as the smart way. We have a function called as count if unit price is higher than 20. Count if products unit prices are higher than 20. Now be in the column I just below the 67. Let us work together now. E is equal to C O U N T I F. Just write is equal to count if and there is a Excel language, Excel communication to you. Please read that. It says counts the number of cells within a range that meet the given condition. You read that right in your Excel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. Now let us open the bracket. Excellently, any function, any formula, we have to apply the filter under parenthesis, brackets. Count if open the bracket. Now we need to select the range. You tell me which column I should go for now. Column A, B, C, D, E, F. Which one? Unit price. Yes, C, yes. Sir. Very good. Very good. C, yes, C. Now I'll be using a my left arrow key and then I'll place my first cell selection as 18. So I'm just using my shortcut using the key control shift down arrow key. So the entire unit price column is selected. Did you select the entire column? Yes, sir. Selected. Okay. Now you see the Excel. Excel is talking to you. When I say Excel is talking to you, yeah, Uttara. In the in this in the shared screen, please see this. Nani ga salpa pause madi dene. New note bekile. Here you can see count if brackets only range comma criteria. Range anad bolda gida. Correcta? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. yes, sir. yes. yes. Which means that range e ka thani new muksi dhiran theli. Now range at mila comma ida. 
ಆ ಕಾಮನ್ ನೀವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಮ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ದ ಕಾಮ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈಲೈಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಲ್ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ಬೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವಿ ಗಿವ್ ದಿ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವ್ ಏನೇ ಸೇ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎಂಟರ್ ಬಟನ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಎಂಟರ್ ಕೀ ಅದರ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ದನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನಾವ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಸೈನ್ ಸಿಂಬಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇರುವಂತ ಕೀ ಪಕ್ಕ ಒಂದಿದೆ ಡಾಟ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದರ ತಲೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ನಾವ್ ಅಡ್ ಐಲ್ ಡು ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಗೈನ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಐ ಟೈಪ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಇಲ್ ಸೇ ಎಗೈನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಎಂಟರ್ ಒಂದು ಸೆ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಎರಡು ನಿಮಿಷ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಓಪನ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಐ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಿ ರೇಂಜ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಪುಟ್ ಅ ಕಾಮಾ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಗೇವ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಬಲ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಎಗೇನ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಅ closing parenthesis or i close the bracket and if i say enter let's see what happens it says 29 it says 29 is it a correct answer no sir why greater than or equal sir, it should be greater than equals to sir we should use not ah. only greater than symbol <laughs> yeah 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 now i was expecting that point if you see the condition unit price higher than 20 i have not written here higher than or equal to 20 this is not the condition nan ee tara kottilla condition anna correct yes sir yes now say for example the same formula now we we got the 29 as the answer how many of you got the 29 as answer quickly quick update for me i got sir I got it got okay yeah yeah i think people are with me yeah deepa you raised your hand what's the question I got the you got the answer right yeah 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 good 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 i like it raising the hand let me quickly check here yeah 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 good so now let me train you on how to edit the formula how to edit the formula now be on the 29 the response which you got there is a formula bar in the excel can you see that here yes sir yes sir that is one way of going to the formula bar or by pressing f2 f2 you can try f2 click made takshna the cell will opens up if it is not opening up let me know it should work f2 sir not opening sir yeah function button and then f2 nimma laptop nu keyboard alli try for fn button and f2 is it working yes, sir work, working sir perfect good sir good good your laptop is demanding for you to click fn every time my laptop is not asking me no problem now i'll use a left arrow key left arrow key na use maarana come on do it left arrow key and greater sign symbol idella other next alli we will give equal to we will give equal to since people were saying that sir greater than or equal to i just want to show you something and then say enter and now you got 30 i believe you all got the same answer now sir what yes, i am getting 32 32 yes sir my goodness how come how come I'm is here. that can you can you share your screen you're working on your laptop right yes sir okay i want you to share your screen okay sir yeah so i'll stop my screen sharing and now let me see your screen come on share the screen you please click on the present now
यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट आ वेन आई से शेयर द स्क्रीन नॉट इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप आई कैन सी हियर इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप कम ऑन लेट्स डू समथिंग लेट्स डू समथिंग हियर इन द इन द गूगल मीट यू कैन सी प्रेजेंट नाउ कैन यू सी दैट प्रेजेंट नाउ yeah i'm talking to the one who sent it now can you see the present now button yes very good priya priya ks is presenting go to the excel can you please yes. go to the excel yeah i don't see the excel ah uh, what is that you have presented ah uh, excel sir ah uh, i cannot see what about others can you see priya's uh, excel no sir no sir no, no sir. why is that no 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 come on come on let this be also okay. a training now uh, priya now after clicking on the present what is that you clicked did you click the your entire screen no sir come on do it once again okay sir present yeah click on the present now and then you can see your entire screen click on that entire screen can i e yes let's see mm no ma'am i'm not seeing it i'm sharing sir correct correct but we don't see here mm. it was visible is it visible, visible. for us yes sir okay. how late sir yeah yeah right one second yes okay but i don't see the file priya yeah now it is presenting yes 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 now it is visible okay you can make it now zoom how do you make it zoom um using my touchpad sir yeah using the touchpad you can do it no problem count if c22 c70 you have said c22 c70 my goodness and that is the reason i told you to delete something no problem can you go to the 18 18 18 unit price 18 b on the column c b on the column c okay now use your control down arrow key use control down arrow key yeah can you see here sum and average that yes, we don't want yeah now go to the just press once up yeah sum shift space bar come on no 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 wait 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 yeah shift space bar yeah control minus now again control yes, minus again yes, control sir. minus yes now you okay. do control home control home Yes, sir. Control home. Yes. Now move towards right, and then let's check the answer. It's correct now, right? Yes, sir. That's good. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah, you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You can stop sharing now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me share my screen. Okay. So we did a count if, meaning the unit prices which are higher than twenty, and then I have shown you how to edit the formula by clicking on F two, and I use a left arrow key. Now I'll delete this by clicking on the backspace. I just want the greater than twenty. That's it, and then I say enter. Twenty nine is the correct answer. now we have something called as the sum s u m sum i know when i asked people about the excel they say sir equal to s u m and then select the entire range you get the total sum people generally say that i know people will say let me check the chat box i think there is a question got it yeah thank you uh, the shared screen please yes now we will do that is equal to sum and then select but which column we will be doing 
instead of writing the is equal to sum can i get this sum quickly yeah just see the screen here now stop being on your excel and see my excel here i can make the total for unit price i can make the total for in stock i can make the total for on order as well as reorder level correct yes sir yeah now you just see here what i'll do the first thing control down arrow key i just went to the last again i'll press again i'll press down arrow key now see the screen here quickly something happens here what happened some yes some appeared Auto some sum appeared sum. yeah some appeared now you see here without using a mouse or a touchpad just the fingers you just see here what happened now total yeah total total has been done for all the four columns correct yes sir now without using the mouse touchpad and is equal to sum how is that we will do come on i want you to be on the c cell c column and press control down arrow key and just once again press down arrow key where you want a total you're there right yes sir okay now let us do it together alt 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 long press plus and then enter alt plus release and then enter tell me how many of you got this total so one second yes yes no problem yeah so be on a cell where you want the total and i'm using the two fingers here now one is on alt 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 long press and now i'll use plus and then i release both the hands and then press enter and it is getting the answer over there is it working yes sir okay yaar gadru work aagta illa andre please let me know quickly not working sir not working not working not working, not working. Not working sir not working is it because of uh, fn button yes function yes function alt alt long press irli press once plus amele enter na maadi and it works confirm me quickly is it working no sir it should come on we will do it together now function alt function alt and then press plus yes sir and then say enter not working sir not working can you quickly share your screen yes, i am using mobile oh my goodness mm. you make a note of this and then try using your laptop okay and others priya have you got this uh, shortcut priya sir yes sir i got yeah, it's working right yes sir it's working okay now how do i fill for the other three columns d e f now be on this total wherever you got the total okay this 1910 be on that cell press shift let it be a long press shift and then use a right arrow key one one time second time and the third time so d e f is selected selected right yes, sir. sir now you now you do control long press and then r r for romeo control r and automatically it fills the values there yes sir did it did it yes sir good that's it so this is how we have just started on our session 1 with various shortcuts and that is the reason we were able to do the three functions count count if and sum don't worry about the sum sum is already done using the shortcut and that is how we do the sum or if you want to get the sum of the unit price let's say sum of the unit price how do i get here is equal to s u m is equal to s 
u m and then open the bracket and go to the column which is called as unit price so i'm using the left arrow key i'm moving up now using my right arrow uh, i mean up arrow key it is on 18 shift control down arrow key and if you select like this remember one thing the total 1910.93 is also getting selected i don't want that so i hold the button shift once i press up arrow key and now the range is perfect if i apply the close the bracket so your screen is not visible sir. ah it got disappeared wait yes my goodness you would have told me quickly no problem let me come on that can you see now yes sir yeah okay. now yeah i want you guys to write something here for the third task as a unit price you write down unit price here so i'm just giving a condition as a unit price for the third task which is called a sum so using a function we will do it here let us say equal to s u m do it together s u m open the bracket shift 9 and i'm using left arrow key I'll go to unit price. Now I'll be using up arrow key. Yeah, it is on the 18. Using a shift and control long press. Shift, control. Now I press down arrow key. Now if you see here in the entire range, on the Sunday mistake, what is the mistake? Uh, total also. Sir, yes, total. yes. Total yes total also got included so we want to deselect that how do i do long press on shift and press one time up arrow key correct yes sir yes yes total also got yeah now shift close the bracket and then say enter so when you get a response like this don't worry hash 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 don't worry it is just because the size of the column if you see here between i and j i'll do a double click using a touchpad and you can see the unit price total as 1910.93 did we get the same answer using the shortcut for the unit price yes so this is how the operations will be going on on this data set on this data set any quick question so far? Yeah, now see here. Ash is not the same. That is 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 the same. Column I is the same. J is the same. It is the same. Plus. That is the double click. It automatically adjusts to the size. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So this is what the basic excel which we have started with but the absolute basic and hila kagala why because we have started using the shortcut also we generally train people during the advanced excel course uh, and uh, because of your age i think basic plus the shortcut will make a best combination if i just go with only the basics without the shortcut it becomes a dry fruit we don't want the dry fruit Let's have something masala with the help of the basic, along with the basic, a shortcut. So this is all about from my side for this particular session. Any question? In the same way, we will be working together. If we complete this exercise one workbook, we have different worksheets. Every worksheet has got a different task. If we, if we are able to complete all the tasks in this workbook, then the different workbooks are available. You can see here, Excel workbook is one, we have two, we have three, we have four, and then we have five. My goodness. You decide how your training should go on. So I'll just say stop sharing here. If no questions, then we are good. Please save your file, control yes, and please use the same file in the next class. If you want to practice, you can practice whenever you get a time. Now you cannot say, Practice Madli Kenu Ilantili because I will be sharing you now the recorded link. The Excel file is already with you. Now you can practice.
and nobody can stop you. So that's it from my side on session number one on the Excel. If you have no questions, then we are good to go from the today's session. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take care.